Hi everybody, my name is Jeff Lang and I'm a horn player in your Philadelphia Orchestra. Today we're going to learn how to make a horn out of a garden hose and a funnel. The garden hose horn that we're going to make is going to end up looking a lot like my hunting horn. The hunting horn is the great grandfather of the modern day French horn. It's really simple. It doesn't have all this uh, crazy tubing and valves and all that stuff. Looks like spaghetti like this horn. I just merely changed the notes with slight differences of tension on my embouchure, my chops as we call them, and little differences of air, and I can play some melodies. <laughs> And the modern horn that I play in the orchestra has valves and I can play all kinds of cool stuff. And the first thing we have to do to make our French horn out of a garden hose and a funnel is take the Miata to Home Depot. For the 50 foot medium duty classic green. Okay, looks like my funnels are over here. They got a nice selection of three sizes. This is awesome. Let's see duct tape, frog tape, or gorilla tape. I think I'll take gorilla. For centuries, we even helped knock down the walls of Jericho with our shofars. We played our conch shells under our palm trees. We were always part of the hunt, sending messages to the other hunters with our hunting horns, much like we do today with our phones and text messages. We are sometimes part of military bands. Sometimes we like to play at home, like now, during this COVID crisis. We like to play chamber music with our friends. Sometimes the horns were fancy. Sometimes we were fancy, or not so fancy. We play in small orchestras, and we play in big orchestras, like the Philadelphia Orchestra. And sometimes we are silly and just like to have fun, like making a horn out of a garden hose. Okay, so now we're going to start building our garden hose French horn. The first thing we're going to do is cut off about 12 feet, which happens to be uh, the length of our meow. And I want this end to go to the funnel. So we're going to cut the hose off, and I recommend getting a new hose. You never know what's been in the old hose. Just like this, and... Okay, so now I'm gonna unwrap my new Gorilla Tape that I really love, and it's really strong. And I'm also gonna run inside and get my hunting horn so I get my dimensions just right. Okay, I'm back. I got my hunting horn, you remember that from before? I just got this so I get my dimensions kind of right with my uh, hose horn so it kind of looks good and plays good. So now we're going to start putting the round part of the horn together and I'm going to take a couple pieces of duct tape and get them ready. Should just have them on the side here waiting for me. So I'm going to make the circle approximately this big. It'll come out nice when I put the funnel on it.
Okay, we're gonna continue taping it together. Now we're actually getting to the point we're ready for the funnel pretty soon. Okay, so our next step is we're gonna put our funnel, our bell, on our hunting horn. And it's there pretty permanently. The last part of our garden hose horn project is to work on what we call the lead pipe. I need to make it a little bit firm, so I have a chopstick and I'm going to tape the chopstick here. Now this is where the mouthpiece goes. I do recommend getting a horn mouthpiece. If you know any horn players, they probably have a box of a million leftover mouthpieces. This now is starting to look like this. Pretty much like my hunting horn. We're almost done. Let's see what it sounds like. watching my video today about the French horn and how to make a hunting horn out of a garden hose. We can't wait to get back to the Kimmel Center and play for you live with the Philadelphia Orchestra. I'm going to leave you today with a little bit of Brahms from his first symphony. Please stay safe.